So in uh, this video, I will be doing a comparison and contrast between the Nikon Z30 and the Nikon Z50. One of the major differences between these two cameras is the Nikon Z30 has eye autofocus in video, whereas the Nikon Z50 does not have that. It is only in stills and images. And if you're wondering, yes, like this comment said, with the Nikon Z50, I already have the latest firmware, version 2.3, which was released in October of this year. So I'm gonna do three basic tests. The first one being is objects and face. Next is we're gonna do the book test. And of course, a low light performance test. And we're gonna see exactly, can you actually tell the difference between which camera has autofocus, IAF, which one performs better? You guys let me know. I might do a blind test or just show you up front exactly and you guys be the judge. But let's get straight into this video. So right now I am using the Nikon Z50 right now. And I have all the settings in terms of the fastest speed and a little bit above the sensitivity. As you can see, I am recording in 4K. Settings are one over 60, filming in uh, 3.5 aperture and 250 ISO. So one of the reasons that I decided to upgrade is one, going from the Z30 back to the Z50, I really miss having that flippy screen, right? Next is having objects and face detection. So if I have my phone and I hold it right here, is it actually tracking the phone? I'm gonna go back to my face. Let's see how that does. And of course, the microphone test. This is where I was having a lot of issues where I thought the microphone, because it was center weighted in the middle, it was not detecting that, hey, my face is right here. This is not a face. So I'm going to put this microphone right here. Sorry for the noise, guys. This is the Blue Yeti, if you're wondering. Put that down right here. And let's see if it can actually track me. What if I go behind the mic for some ASMR type of stuff, you know? Here. Right here. Is it tracking my face? Or is it getting confused? Let's lower the mic down a bit. And the last, or the second last test, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the book test, right? So I have a book here. Open it. And I'm just gonna have my eyes. Can it, is it tracking that my head is here? Or is get confused? It's like, where is the head? So I have the mic in frame. So move this to the side a bit. Right here, book. Is it tracking? You guys tell me, how is this performance? So now it is really dark. I'm gonna bump my ISO up. So how is this looking, guys? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, swap cameras and can you guys let me know in the comments, is there actual a difference? So right now I am using the Nikon Z30. And what I did first was the object focus test. Right now, as you can see, eye detection is turned on. I can actually choose what eye I wanna focus on, my right or my left, and then the phone. If you got confused, there you go for a second. Caught my eye. Back up. It's freaking out there. It's trying to, <laughs> it's trying to get a face. My posters. There you go. Although the Nikon's cameras don't have the product feature like the Sony do. It's actually not that bad if you just hold the object in the center. 
But if you pop your face out, it should be able to detect your face. Next I'm gonna do is the mic test. Does it get confused? Center weighted now, but uh, right now it's focused on the mic. If I pop my head up, I should have eye detection and it should detect focus here, not here. Lose it there. But the minute it catches my eye, So one of the issues that I'm seeing is, let's say you're walking by, there's a bunch of people. You might want to have, you know, select object tracking, which it does have. So it doesn't suddenly just track someone in the background that's walking. But if you're a talking head video and you're the only person in the room, it should not, not be an issue. Even though I'm shooting at 200 ISO. As you can see, it's freaking out <laughs> because of a uh, low light. But I'm just going to increase my ISO here. Let's get up to, uh, let's say 2000. I'm technically hair light backlit. Let's see if it gets any confusion. And uh, yeah, guys, that was my test between these two cameras, Nikon Z50 and the Nikon Z30. Pretty much the identical camera with, of course, a lot of physical differences, as well as a little bit improved autofocus. But for me, this meets my needs. And the Nikon Z30 was a bet much better camera option than the Z50. Once you go to Z30, you never go back to the Z50. That's, in my opinion, especially if you are a content creator. You guys let me know in the comments which one do you prefer, which one did better, or is it the exact same, right? I got another comment where it's like, one of the best things about the Nikon Z30 is the internal microphone. Even though you always want to use an external audio source, let's say you don't want to use your microphone, right? You can just simply rely on the internal microphone because the microphone ports that captures audio is so big compared to the little micro dot that is on the Nikon Z50. So the quality should be a lot better because better, bigger microphone captures more audio, cleaner audio. But yeah, if you guys want to check out both these cameras, link is in the description below. Help me help you. And if you want to know my exact settings and which camera should you even begin to buy with in this day and age, I have a crash course in the description below. My name is Peter. Help me help you. And you're watching a Broke Visionary Collective, where we all start with nothing. But you can always create something.